Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? My name is Mike Judge. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to moderate the shit out of this. Uh, this is the Adult Swim animation panel. Thank you for coming. Um, yes. Uh, OK, so let's get right into it here. Uh, we're going to start out with, oh, yeah. Of course, Christy Caracas, Super Jail. I guess wherever you, oh, there you go, they have name tags. Right next to you. Um, OK, so, so what do you reckon? Are we going to play a clip or something? Are you going to bring them all up and then they bring them all up and then? Oh, is that how we do it? Bring everybody up? Okay, good. Let's bring them all up. Okay. J.J. Villard, Tommy Blaka, Blaka. King Star King, yeah. And now, Dave Stewart and Will Carsola. Of Mr. Pickles. Okay, so, uh, so now, now we're gonna play some, uh, what, do you wanna, you want oh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, go ahead, Chris. Up. So, um, if you watch, uh, we just finished season four, so if you, if you watch Super Jail, uh, <laughs> if you're a fan of Super Jail and you're sitting here, yeah. you, you've seen it, but one thing that happened this season, a lot of people were wondering, were like, what happened to the intros? And uh, what happened is when we were making them every season, we were just always trying to kind of, like, you know, push it further every time and this season it was just a weird coincidence like the first episode was too long and we were like well if we the intro is 30 seconds so we're like if we cut the intro we get 30 seconds more uh, you know more to the fight at the end or more to the story or whatever so it kind of kept happening with like every episode so um, there was one episode where we we needed to cut in so much that we lost the jackknife opening so uh, um, we brought uh, a jackknife opening that got cut for the, the weather episode. And uh, usually the jackknife theme has something to do with um, the episode. So the thing was, the, if you saw this one, the warden built like a weather robot. And uh, so we brought it, and we're going to play the animatic version. And it's kind of like jackknife in like a weather-themed opening. So um, the only thing is, um, I got to look at it when I do it. So I don't know if I should. Oh, he's is there a mic that. back? Uh-oh. Hey, is there a mic back there? Can I watch this stream from the back? But it's backwards. Yeah, so so we're gonna show this jackknife. <laughs> so this will be like you a have to talk backwards. You gotta talk yeah. backwards. It's backwards. I have to go like this. But <laughs> yeah, so if you want to roll the clip, we'll uh, this is the jackknife oh. opening that never made it to season four. Gave away all the trade secrets. <laughs> yeah. Now anyone can do it. That was a it's thumbnail animatic, kind of, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how we do the show. Like we, uh, we, you know, we draw it real rough like that and time it out, and um, that, you know, edit like that before the animators go in and put in the backgrounds and the layouts and the animation and stuff. And do you do the voice live when you do the show? Yeah, I usually do like a couple <laughs> passes like that live. <laughs> wow, Will you go to people's cool. houses and do it? <laughs> I just kind of try to practice, like go look in their windows and <laughs> peep around. Well, that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, by the way, everyone will be, uh, not everybody, but people will be able to ask questions later because 
I'm probably not going to ask the right ones. Um, but uh, okay, so what season is this of Super Jail? This was season four. Okay. Um, just finished. And if you if you like the show, try to watch the reruns because the rerun ratings help too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also yes. if uh, later some guys gonna come around, but we have a uh, Super Jail T-shirts we made this year, and we have a bunch to give away. But uh, if you go to tipmousestuff.com, you can get the shirts. But uh, we one. have a bunch. Yeah, here we can give them away. So. Super. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Super Jail. Okay. So, what, what? Uh, oh, I mean, you might want to do what's that? Show what's that? <laughs> you might want to do another show. They might have more stuff to talk about. I don't know. Oh, There's another Super Jail T-shirt. Yeah, some more T-shirts to. Uh, <laughs> oh, you see how he stole that from her? Oh, yeah, we could just go. Oh, man. We could just go through. Cool. Go to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let's let's do a let's do a King Star King. Yeah. Clip. <laughs> Live also or cool, no? Yeah. Well, yeah. Are we ready? No, Let's no, no. King Star King. We didn't know we were supposed to do the voice live. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Should we just go through and play them all? Jesus. And then we'll uh. Here, I'll stand back here. <laughs> Wow. wow. Good stuff, everybody. Yeah. You, got, you guys you know, are in West Virginia, right? Virginia, <laughs> asshole. That's just about, oh, uh, East Virginia. That, you know, like to anybody who's ever animated, there's nothing more fun than cartoon violence. <laughs> and it's just really good to see Adult Swim and everybody embracing. Definitely it's embracing. the first thing you want to do when you animate <laughs> is just have somebody get their head cut off or something. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? Maybe we should... Uh, Open it up to the audience and yeah. uh, see where it goes. What do you think? Is there somebody? Uh, I guess there's a microphone there that. Uh, Maybe we could cut someone's head off. <laughs> yeah, but let's let's awesome. get some violence going. Uh, <laughs> Who will ask the um, first question? Oh yeah, here we go. It's this guy will. First <laughs> question. <laughs> I just want to say it's all <laughs> badass. Uh, I guess the question uh, is: Is Brendan Smalls doing the voice or the the music for Mr. Pickles? Actually, uh, Mark Rivers did the uh, the music for the theme song, and uh, Dave and I screamed the lyrics. We wrote the the song for that in about one second, <laughs> and then uh, and They're then very we deep uh, recorded lyrics it too. Yeah. That's both of you singing. Yeah. yeah. Screaming. Whatever. Mm. Singing. <laughs> Together. <laughs> yes. Next question. Um, okay, this is for JJ Villard. Uh, I just want to say King Star King is awesome. Yeah. Um, I can't stop watching it. I literally watch it almost every day. <laughs> um, I just want to ask a question. Um, is there going to be more episodes and when? Oh, yeah. Well, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there, you heard it here. Put it out on the internet. It's been picked up. <laughs> it's <laughs> That's how you get a show sold. Yeah. L legally, it has to be now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's been a process. First, like, you know. Just say yes. I know. Well, <laughs> I, I'll give you the truth. Um, it scared a lot of people, so that's why they said uh, major first online series ever. And then um, they realized the ratings were so well, so they put it on TV. And then the next thing I knew, I was in porn. So... <laughs> It's actually true, though. He's, yeah. He has done some porn. But you shouldn't watch it once a day. <laughs> the porn. Will there ever be a character with small boobs on the show? Or? Mm, hell yeah, I like <laughs> Well, small. If, if the boobs are cut off, does that mean they're small? Yeah. Or, or gouged off with That's a beer can? That's where I was going. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know I already asked the question, but real quick, um, will we see more of, what's his name, Mr. Waffles? Or Waffles' his, uh, mother? Mike Waffles? Mike Waffles, sorry. You watch it every day and you don't know his name? <laughs> I'm, I'm not all there, okay? Oh, Hank Waffles' mother? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hank Waffles' mother? You yes. Hank Waffles' mother. <laughs> yes. Yes, there will be in season two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? This question's for JJ, another one. So at the end of every episode, you always have it end with some sort of moral. Right. And I, and I believe at mm -hmm. episode four, the moral of the story is, Burger, 
Burger bitches Burger are for bitch. spring, but right. waffles are forever. Yes. <laughs> Can you explain a little bit more on what that means? Dude. Yeah, please do. Judging on your demeanor, <laughs> we've had a hard time with girls, right? <laughs> so, look, hey, 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 either way, you know, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just being real, man, you know? It's just like, uh, as my friend said, like, uh, life, life, I'm just not good at this, you know? It's just like, <laughs> it's hard, man, it's hard. Hey, after I worked at DreamWorks on Shrek, I thought my life was over. <laughs> Honestly, and then God bless Cartoon Network. Like, it just came in, and Adult Swim swooped me up, and uh, Shrek is, is a nightmare. I try to forget every day, but <laughs> it's a twitch in my eye that I can't get a part away from. So, how does that answer the question? Oh, uh, so that answers the questions by saying, uh, we're all losers, man. No, <laughs> well, wait a minute. Isn't that a strange way to explain it, though? Yeah. Uh, yeah I yeah. mean, burger, burger bitches are for spring, but waffles are forever. Yeah, yeah, we're all losers forever, man. Actually, that's hey, no. Hey, hey. Tommy, what do you think? Well, I wrote it, and that's not the theme. That's right! <laughs> what do you think for that? <laughs> I, th I've, I wrote it in thinking, man, you are such a loser. You're so <laughs> up. So I was, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it just means love is temporary, but, you know, <laughs> waffles aren't. <laughs> it's that simple. Hey, that's, uh, if you suck, your writer's <laughs> that's what you get. I want to open this question up to all of you. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I've been working all week. Um, being the established um, and successful creative artist that you are. Are you reading oh, your on. question off of <laughs> yeah, your phone? I had to write this before. I had I'm, to write it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, your question is wrong already, though. Are you texting while... <laughs> Asking this question. Established Who are you and texting successful? right now? <laughs> Who are you texting are right successful? now? <laughs> well, what advice would you give um, to a musician who's trying to break into the industry in regards to voice acting? The music industry? Don't. <laughs> Drink lots of coffee. Well, I, have a, I have a real answer. Work yeah. on track. For a voice actor? Yes. Uh, yeah. Make your own reel. Because you can do it. All, if you have a $400 microphone, you can do as good a stuff as in a studio. Just put a blanket up and make your own reel and work at it every day and you'll have a reel that's out there like with anyone else, so that's, you know. We actually uh, worked with a few people who are more in, into singing and, and doing, you know, that as a profession. And they seem to uh, be a little bit more relaxed when it comes to doing voices. I think from being a singer and, you know, that's your everyday talent to work with your voice, so mm -hmm. I, that's a good. We get, well, this guy, his name was, uh, uh, Iggy Pop. Oh you, yeah. yeah. Iggy. And we, Iggy Pop came in and did a voice, and he was really? he was amazing. And he, he so your advice is be Iggy Pop. <laughs> yeah. Or try you to look be like Iggy him. Pop. Brooke Shields. You got Brooke Shields. <laughs> <laughs> right, Brooke Shields. But she's not a singer. Does that answer oh. your question? Kind of. Well, to elaborate on the real, uh, if you already have it, where would you go from there? I mean, as far as distributing it and just trying to make it in the world. Uh, Tommy? What? Uh, <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, it sounds like a lame answer, but you need like an agent or somebody to kind of shop that stuff around for you because it's hard to do it on your own. You're an agent? That uh, would be me. Yeah, you're your own agent. Yeah. I'm not my own agent. I'm speaking on behalf of somebody Let's else. Let's hear one of your voices oh, right you're now. you're the agent. Can you do voices? I don't. Oh. All right. Friend well, of mine does. There was your big opportunity, but <laughs> you blew it. Make up one anyway. I blew all my sincerity in that last answer. That <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank Love you. your shows. Hey, what's up? Um, I just wanted to pitch this really cool app idea to Mike yeah! Judge. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> since this is an animation panel, um, uh -huh. could there be a Mike Judge yeah. Adult That's Swim him, collab though. ever? What's that? <laughs> Mike Judge Adult Swim collab yeah! animation ever yeah. possible? Um, yeah, we've talked about something before. Yeah, cool. Ooh. But I mean, uh, they don't need me. They're doing pretty good. I mean, you know. But uh, Swag. no, we need you. No, we all. Uh, you know, it, it would be fun. I, that's we've talked about it. And thought on it. Just don't push our season two off the slate. Oh no, that's no, all no, we no, have. No. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Oh hell no. Um, I was 
just wondering, you guys you pack guys so much into each cartoon. How do you go about to organizing it and putting it all together so it all makes sense? Uh, I can answer Super one for you. Ours, mine was easy because JJ's nuts <laughs> completely. So we probably had the most structured thing where the scripts were really short and we just, because we knew JJ would go absolutely out of his mind. So it was kind of like a really simple, we, we watched every Lost in Space episode and then we kind of made a real simple structure and had really short scripts and like JJ went crazy. So that, that ours was easy and we all did the voices ourselves because we, we made all, every, him do everything because he was the guy that was there like 12 hours a day. So ours was Without agents. Simple. <laughs> huh? You, get, agent. you gotta get an agent. That's the way to go. <laughs> go ahead. This question is actually for JJ. Yeah. Good. Hello, yeah. Luke. Hi. <laughs> On the two minute and 34 second mark of the third episode, <laughs> <laughs> Fat Freddy's Fantasy Lounge. They call that the sweet spot. Yeah. <laughs> Kickstar King has a bowel movement in the tornado. It was right. seen right there. Yeah. Was this inspired by true life events? Tommy. Dude, I look, Tommy came up with that <laughs> with James Merrill. Like, James Merrill wrote that episode. So, um, It was easy. It was because the, in the context it was the fantasy room. Like, so what's your biggest fantasy? And then it was like, yeah, we have a b ball movement and a tornado. And then, <laughs> was, Were there others on the list? Other oh, fantasies? Yeah, yeah. yeah there was a what were the top three? Uh, James, do you know? James. Uh, James. 2001 yeah. Space And then we were like baby. lame, writerly, stupid, throw, shitty. Uh, a baby. Yeah. Then I suck, then was, was sucking um, on your mom's boob and having a ball move in a tornado. And <laughs> yeah. Top two. That's what we put in. Yeah. Wait, wait, th that wait. ball move in the tornado, I think, was the tipping point for when we got picked up for season two. <laughs> I think JJ's going to puke. Yeah, it's gonna he sound is. like Tone Loaf, though. <laughs> 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 All right, so I uh, had a question about Mr. Pickles. Is that supposed to be a border collie? It is a border collie. Yes. Cool, <laughs> perfect. Because uh, I own a border collie, so that's pretty cool. Is he evil? They ripped you off, right? <laughs> Shit, yeah, man. Your What's dog up satanic. With that? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ho hopefully she is. It's actually a girl. Oh. Okay. But uh, she's pretty evil, so that's a good thing. But uh, and another one is uh, any more super gel shirts. Come on up. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, so this might be a stupid question, but I've looked for the answer online a bunch, and it's for Christy. But uh, what was uh, what was the decision behind moving from Augenblick to uh, to Titmouse for the? Uh, um, it wasn't a decision. It was a in between season one and two. I worked on uh, the show Robotomy on uh, Cartoon Network. And uh, when that happened, that took, you know, you do work on a season, it takes about a year or whatever. And so when we did that, they had picked up, uh, uh, they started doing Ugly Americans. And that, they're kind of a small studio. Actually, it's really funny, like, when I used to work at Augenblick back in the 90s, it's really funny, we all worked at MTV. Like, my first job out of school was on Daria, when Beavis and Butthead was happening. And then Aaron, who owns Augenblick Studios, he worked, he was in Daria. Chris P, who owns Titmouse. Yeah, is Chris P here? Chris P's over here. Chris. Come up for a second if you Come want. On, man. Chris Kronowski, he owns Tip Mouse. This guy. A whole bunch. This guy's awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. You know this guy? Yeah. yeah. He's the founder of Tip Mouse. He's the reason. He's on the Beavis and Butthead movie. He's Chris Kronowski. It was, and, it was you know, these, yeah, so. Yeah, it was funny. Like, so many people we knew, and then, like, um, a lot of people that worked on Super Jail were at MTV in the 90s, it was like Daria, Beavis and Butthead, Deathmatch, they were kind of all happening at the same time. Like I was in my 20s back then, I was really young. And, uh, but anyways, sorry, we, we all knew each other. So when, when, uh, when I did Robotomy, it was at this other studio. So they did Ugly Americans, and then that one, I think it was a couple seasons, so when we were ready to do season two, they were still busy on that, and they didn't want to expand as a studio, because they're kind of a small, kind of boutique type studio. So we were like, man, what are we gonna do? And we didn't know we were gonna do it. We'd, Titmouse based on the West Coast, and also Venture Brothers was starting up too, and Chris, he didn't work at, with us at MTV, but he was kind of around, he had friends there, so then we were all like, I was, I'm friends with him too, and we were like, man, I wish we could like make this stuff at Titmouse, but they're on the, in LA, and we're all in New York, and we, we kind of called them, and we kind of were like, you guys ever open like a New York studio? And it was kind of, they were like, yeah, we were kind of thinking of doing it, and it kind of strangely, organically happened, and 
They had, did, you know, Tip Mouse also does Metalocalypse, China, Illinois. They did Freaknik. They do Black. They did the first season of Black Dynamite. So they do a ton of Adult Swim stuff. Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you know, mm, Disney. So we were like super psyched. We were like, that's like our favorite place. So and it ended up they opened it to do these things. So. Yeah, no, because it took me a really long time to actually watch the second season because I rewatched the first season at least like 12 to 15 times, like in a row, and it was really hard for me to like stomach the switch at first, but then I like you know got it. Um, but second question, merchandise. Adult Swim needs to do more merchandise because I've gone all over the internet we agree. looking for <laughs> for Super Joe hmm. merch Other than for like ever. T-shirts out and yeah, it's you want a shirt? <laughs> Also, anyone oh, need an intern? Whiskey. Which shirt? Just do you want a shirt? Which shirt? Anyone need an intern? Like, actually, just. Oh, uh, if people want to oh. intern at Tip Mouse, do you go to, I think, what is it? If, uh, if, you, if you show up for season two of Star website. King, you're guaranteed <laughs> to be an intern. Here. You need plenty of season two interns for King Star King. <laughs> Hi, guys. My question is for Will and Dave. How yeah. long have you been growing your awesomely epic beards? <laughs> Two weeks. I got here yesterday morning, just decided to do uh, something crazy. Fast. Yeah, so. they, uh, we actually, we're, we're both from Virginia, and um, it, the water there just kind of just happens to girls, too. It's weird. But, uh, Is you that where all it, the bearded ladies come from? fast. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Too long. Two years, Too long? I think three years. Almost three years. Wow. Yeah. wow. We, what Impressive. happened was um, Will and I had this idea for a short <laughs> film uh, about these two kind of weird guys, not like us, that live down by we're the L.A. Weird. River. The characters were. So we wanted to make this short film, and then uh, our pilot got picked up for Adult Swim. So we were like, cool, well, we'll just grow it out we'll a little longer. keep growing until we finish the show. Yeah, well, <laughs> the and season. then we got a second pilot for the same show, and we're like, all right, we're yeah, well, we'll just keep growing we'll it. Just keep doing it. <laughs> And then they picked up 10 episodes, so we were like, well, maybe when we're done making the show, we'll cut our beards. I, I heard you were Civil War generals that fell into a bog and Mike Lazo <laughs> dug you out <laughs> somewhere. And that. That's what I heard. Awesome. Well, great beard, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. That's not true? Yeah. <laughs> it's close. Hey, so I just want to start off. I'm actually like down here from Canada, a little town of 1,200, and we have nothing to do up there. So all we have is Adult Swim. And I was just wondering, what's the death count on uh, Super Jail right now? That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Shouldn't some fan be figuring that out right now? <laughs> I got halfway through season one. I just couldn't do it anymore. I, I feel like some guy, someone asked that question before at what comment. They're like, I counted, and there was yeah. this. They were counting. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should get that intern to count them up. Yeah, does he in, for your how that's many? Good if, intern you wanna, work. if you want to go through seasons, we we need every death in each season, and also a total of all the seasons. Then you can be an intern. With full, full autopsy report. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> come talk with half of the panel. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, while I'm up here being greedy, I mean, from Canada, could I have a t-shirt? Sure, come on up. <laughs> You're too yeah. kind. You sure dropping that Canada thing a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, you got one? Yeah. Don't be greedy, oh, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna fit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's got wide shoulders, big wide shoulders, come on. <laughs> your girlfriend just uh, flicked you off, by the way. <laughs> you. Oh, you're all thinking fat. I'm thinking wide shoulders, so uh, you. Strong. Well, strong Canadian strong. lad. Uh, I don't know what to say. He just got handed some XLs. I don't mean it as a dick way. <laughs> that ain't going to work either, by the way. I'll give you two, how's that? <laughs> I was introduced to the show a few months ago from a friend, fell in love with it. I was just curious. Out of what, all wait, what, what show? show. <laughs> or the whole network? We show the whole the the network, <laughs> but I was just curious. Well, out of all the uh, hilariously <laughs> shit you've done so far, what made you choose a dog say, uh, for Mr. Pickle, say, over like a gerbil? <laughs> well, I mean, the original idea was kind of based off the idea of Lassie. So uh, that's where the dog came from. Uh, and Lassie then we kind of. Lassie yeah. was a cat. Oh shit! We <laughs> I actually think the show would be a lot more brutal if we did go gerbil. <laughs> if we could, yeah. can we change it? Just 
Episode 10, the gerbil? finale, there is a gerbil, so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. There will be a gerbil. Oh, yes, and it's a really And it does weird not gerbil. go up anyone's ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I heard you out there <laughs> moaning. <laughs> well, okay, it does it. I don't know. Um, hi, I'm a huge fan of Jackknife, and I was wondering uh, where he came from. Like, what, what, how'd you come up with him? I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. That, and, I'm not, and we were just talking about this, because I, you know, I actually met Mike Judge today for the first time. He's like a huge hero and idol of mine. I think a ton of people in here. Yeah. He's like the best. I mean, I, I mean, I used to watch, when I was in high school, I used to get up, because he was invited to be on really early in the morning. I think it would be on at like 7 in the morning or something, but I would get up before the bus came. I'm from New Hampshire. I remember being like, if I get up really early, eat my breakfast, I can watch some Beavis and Butthead and then go to school. And I, I love that kind of, that raw kind of drawing style. And, you know, I went to, you know, I went to art school and all that stuff, but I remember always being like, man, I can't draw as good as these other people. And I remember, there's a guy too, you know King Terry? He's like this Japanese, like, comic guy, but, like, he has this really crude, and he has this theory of, like, just draw how you draw, like, a charming drawing can be... Anyone can, if you love to draw, your drawing is awesome, like a kid or an old person or whatever, you don't need to learn. And I remember being like, I'm just gonna draw whatever, like how I draw, and, you, and just quit thinking so hard and just do it, and it came out of that. But with Jackknife, I remember thinking he's this bad guy and he's kind of ugly, but he's also kind of cool. And I remember, like a lot with him, I remember thinking of like Beavis and Butthead, like they look kind of ugly and gross, but kind of cool, and you want to hang out with them in a weird way, or I did. <laughs> yeah. But Absolutely. also, the guy, this guy Richard Mather, when we worked at MTV, there was this guy, Dicko, and Dicko's the voice of the twins. And he actually works on Super Jail, but he's kind of this like... Dicko? Yeah, like Dicko's like, when, when we were there, he's a little older, and he's kind of this cool like biker dude, and he'd like, he'd ride his bike to work, and he'd like, but he was cool, he's like draws. And he's and he, the voice of the twins. Yeah, and this, yeah, the funniest thing, when you see him, you're like, who's this crazy guy? And he looks like some biker dude, and he's like, he's always like making jokes, like woo, woo, and like very silly guy and really funny. And uh, I remember when I was drawing Jack, and I was like, kind of like a greaser, but he's kind of like Dicko, and he's kind of like Beavis, and like, he's this guy that would just, and he's kind of like, he's your, like, all the shit you would want to do that you would tell yourself, like, well, yeah, I can't do that, that's evil, or that's dumb. Like, he just does whatever, he's got like his <laughs> lizard brain, he just does whatever he wants, he can't <laughs> censor it, he just does it, he doesn't care, he doesn't think. I think that's it's called that, psychopath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's that thing you all kind of, like when I watch Real Good, I laugh because it's like what you would want to do, but you obviously wouldn't do it. Wait, can I ask you, did, did the name Super Jail come to you all at once, or was it like a thought out? It, it was really funny. Like this story, I don't want to take too long to tell, but I'll tell it real quick. Like, uh, I the did best name ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did. I saw the billboard. I was like, this is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because we. I did this short when I worked at MTV. I did this short called Bar Fight, and it was a, a oh, short yeah. film. Yeah. And yeah. It was, yeah. It was weird That's like the greatest like, thing I've ever seen, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. It's like, incredible. Well, it's funny because after when we made Bar Fight, we entered it on these film festivals and stuff, and it basically got rejected from every single thing we entered it in. Yeah, and I was Mike Judge's show though, <laughs> my animation show. I actually think oh, we entered it in Spike and Mike's, and it did, it got, did, oh, I'm yeah. telling you, it got oh, it for nothing. You that mother. Be <laughs> 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 before me. He, oh, <laughs> you were sick that day, and the the the. But I was kind of like you know, I was kind of you know, I was like. I don't care, you know, animation, whatever. And it's weird because at that same time, like in New York, kind of everything kind of slowed down, like MTV shut down, the work got slower, and I was in this band, and I was like, I want to work on the band, I'll just work normal jobs. And Gee, actually, work. Dave Hughes is, was, he's still here, he was sitting back there. Dave Hughes, who works for Adult Swim, was just sitting back there. He, and he did that Meatwad dome, but he was the editor, he used to work at MTV. And he was, when he was at Adult Swim, he was showing them the thing. And is Dave here? Oh, he was oh, just God. here, he was sitting in the back, but Mother he showed them and they were like, oh man, what's this? They called me and they were like, hey, are you the guy that made Bar Fight? And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, oh man, why aren't you pitching us a show? And I was like, man, I don't even know, like I've never had cable since I've even ever, like, like my parents didn't have cable. I mean, I watch TV and I watch- But I, I you, watch. you have Adult Swim. Oh yeah, I always have. <laughs> but when they called, I was like, you know, I don't know what this is. And I checked, I was like, oh my God, what is this channel? This is like the best stuff I've ever seen. It's like the coolest craziest weird animation so I was like we met them and I had this pitch I'd pitched at MTV a long time ago it was called Inmates and it was like actually it was with Tom Marsan it was with Tom, and it was it was basically a reality show of like these people would go to jail and be like the jail the inmates wouldn't know they were really on the game show so they would be interacting with prisoners and stuff but it was like Adult Swim was like yeah it's too normal and at the time 
this is what I can't believe we've never been sued for. Is at the time was that remake of the Willy Wonka movie with Johnny Depp, and I remember being like, I was I remember I was always thinking about I love the original Charlie and Chocolate Factory was that Willy Wonka. I was like, well maybe it's like a jail, but it's like this like Willy Wonka type guy owns it. It's like the craziest like Dr. Seuss type kid show jail with inmates, and they were like they were like awesome, we love it, and we were like okay cool. So that that's kind of how it came about. Very but so awesome. the name Super Jail, I remember we were like, it's the craziest jail ever. It's a super jail. Like, <laughs> it was really that dumb. I mean, it was in a bar. It was really that, like. Oh, that's like also, yeah. also, do you have. Yeah. Like, yeah. Also, do you have any small t shirts? <laughs> mm, I remember being jealous. Do you have small? Really? Oh, shit. Can you make it small? Uh, there. Medium. You can oh, that one. There's a medium. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oops, sorry. Okay, we got five more minutes, so we'll try to do uh, short question answers. Mike Judd, you're the shit. Oh. Mike I Judge is not shit. He is yeah. the shit. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Can I be killed in super jail? Just draw me. I don't care. I will pay you. Kill me in super jail. Oh, okay. We'll draw. We'll get. Oh yeah. Go to jail first. <laughs> All right. I'll do it. <laughs> and can I get an extra large T-shirt? Because I'm a big guy. Yes. The questions are getting more interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, can you guys ask about these shows? <laughs> can we get another T-shirt? By the way, when Mr. Pickles comes on, you better watch it, or I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good. It's the funniest. And Starking, too. Hey, guys. I'm a huge fan of all of your shows, and uh, they're all really crazy, and I love that. But uh, when you're trying to think of new episodes, do you think more about the crazy animation that you want to see? Or do you think about the insane story that you want to tell? Like, is there in any direction? Mine was easy, because JJ just draws things called puke pages. Yeah. And he just has, like, who's the guy with the pilgrim hat that looks like a praying mantis? Oh, I, let's name him Alfonso Molestro. <laughs> that sounds good. And, you know, we just <laughs> took it from there. So m mine was easy. It was just like, really I, just, I just go into his office. What? Uh, oh, there. How about that? Good. And oh, he's so he like. He draws and then you write to it? Is yeah. Kind of your. Yeah, it, it just oh, cool. uh, based on the characters, just yeah, real, real easy. That's cool. You know? <laughs> That's really cool. Ours usually starts with a character or a story that we think is funny. Sometimes a joke, if we can turn yeah. that into a story. Yeah. But the story is always more important, you know? So, uh, right. why? We just have a ton of, <laughs> I can't ton draw. of ideas yeah. on a wall. It looks yeah. like an insane asylum where we write, and uh, we just take one idea that we like, and if it fits with other ones, then it becomes a story or an yeah. episode. I think if you think about how hard it would be to animate some ideas, you would kind of hold yourself back on coming up with good ideas. So you just let the animators be stressed out later. <laughs> okay. yeah. You write whatever you want. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I see some of our animators over here. Tell <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike to stand up. What about you, Christy? Do you, uh... Oh, yeah. With us, it's, bo it's both ways. I mean, I think with us, it's more, uh, you know, I don't think Superdraw is like witty dialogue. So, like, sometimes we'll be like, oh, it'd be cool if the warden builds this, and it, that'll kind of drive the story, but we, we, we did try a lot after season one to really do more character driven, but I think, I think it's both, like you said, like sometimes we'll draw a bunch of stuff and be like, oh, that's really cool, like, what is it? And just start yeah. making something up about it, like, so. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys. What about Mike Jen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm just a moderator. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> a bad shirt. Oh. Hey guys, uh, this is open for everyone on the panel, but uh, each of your shows has a very distinct visual look to them. So I just wanted to ask, do you guys like read or look at any artists or read any comics and go like, yeah, I want to animate that. You know, I want to see this move. Do you go to any strip clubs, uh, JJ? <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's the pinnacle of my inspiration. Is strip clubs, porn, and um, anything else. <laughs> That has to be related. Answer to like Tone Loke. X, X, X. <laughs> no, it's no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty much where, yeah, I think I uh, get the most. Uh, A very quiet, sincere, person. realistic <laughs> answer, for real. <laughs> uh, what was the question? Yeah, I can't remember. Hey guys, um, I was just wondering how disappointed are you in MTV from being like a precursor to Adult Swim, having shows like Beavis and Butthead and Celebrity Deathmatch, to just being lame-ass teen pregnancy 
Jersey Shore, all that. Like, well, no more cartoons or anything. Like, what the hell? MTV has always just been, like, it's a weird place. It's like bottom line, lowest common denominator. <laughs> Every few years, they get lucky and get a hit. Like, it was, like, going backwards, it was, I don't know, I think, like, Jersey Shore, Jackass, uh, Tom Green. Like, well, Jackass is awesome, but yeah, no, Wonder no, Shows. That, that's what I mean. Like, great shit <laughs> comes out of there. It's like the way if you have a manure pile, like life grows out of it, but, but you, yeah, no, it's, it's a shit show over there. It always will be. Yeah, I would never but, uh, say yeah, no, they could have, that, Adult Swim, it should have been, I mean, you know, thank God the Cartoon Network did it, but like it should have been, MTV could have done it and they it up. So you're right. It's disappointing, but it's better that it happens here. Yeah. Yeah. I, think it's, I think Adult Swim too, it's like totally weirder. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, Adult Swim had a vision for what they were doing, I feel like, and, and MTV was just like, whoa, whoa. Well, we'll make us what's, money. What's getting us numbers and ads and... Yeah, I think, the, like, shows... you got to think higher than that, I think, to really get something yeah. And the sh your show and the shows you talk about uh, were popular in spite of MTV, not because of yeah, no, MTV, <laughs> you know what I mean? It so was fighting them all the way, and, <laughs> and I mean, they're, I don't know, they're good people there, but it was, uh, yeah, I don't... They weren't... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, now they're now they're all about uh, you know sixteen year olds getting pregnant. Actually, that was like yeah, wait, five that's, years ago. I don't know what they're about now. That's a good idea, though. It's still stupid. I'm sure. No, that's always a good idea. That's always uh, well, in Virginia. That's a good idea. When you're supposed to get pregnant, technically, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we're all gonna make a show about teen pregnancy uh, <laughs> next week. You guys got any large C's left? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Last question. Oh. Oh, no one even asked. Oh, question. good question. Yeah. Oh, Done. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Get it. Okay. Sky. Ask a question. Um, okay, here we go. Last one. Um, I'm almost afraid to ask, but uh, don't be afraid. Hello? I'm almost afraid to ask, but is there ever a point where you draw a line in the sand and say, or in the sand and say, maybe we shouldn't do this? Yes. Ooh. That's a good, but that's then a good last anyway. question. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Uh, okay, you guys. Is there yeah. a line? No, we don't cross. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. yeah there, there. Ha believe it or not, there has been a couple. Yeah, a few lines. We've had some moments where, like, mm, JJ, we're not doing that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you shouldn't. You shouldn't we, really yeah. ask me why. <laughs> Love stories out of the question. Um, you know, good parenting. Good out of, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, I guess there are some lines, but you know. Draw the line. <laughs> yeah. Good no rape. Is that okay? Yeah, no I think rape. I've seen yeah. rape. Oh, wait, you're wrong. We do some shit. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a dog, though. A, you can rape a man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think all of you have. Yeah. You can rape a rapist, and that's yeah. okay. <laughs> but beyond that, <laughs> don't. You guys? All righty. <laughs> okay, oh, cool. Gr great in. note to leave oh, on. Um, <laughs> so thanks a lot. You've all learned a little bit about rape tonight. Mike Judge. Thank you for coming.